So, when you let the truth out of the bag and you let somebody into your world and then they allow you into their world, that's when you can only truly understand each other's feelings and develop a very, very strong and intimate emotional and mental connection with that person and even spiritual if you're both spiritually orientated. This is like powerful and magical and this is where the very deep bond is developed. Uh, otherwise, um, it's superficial games and play play games and non-seriousness. Um, you're letting fear and superficiality govern you and rule you. You're putting up a wall you're just not letting someone into your heart and you're not letting your heart out to share with them and if they're not doing it with you you're just it's just totally lack of in lack it's a lack of the potential of the connection you could have anyway for sure and often in many relationships if you look today there's no connection really whatsoever i'd like to just briefly touch on different types of connection there's like physical connection emotional con like emotional connection that's how emotionally bonded you are. Physical connection is like obviously maybe sexual, sensual, um, looks, um, attraction, um, physical sort of hot chemistry. So emotional connection is like deeper. Um, it's more love, care, appreciation, adoring, ador adoration somebody, somebody, cherishing someone, loving being thoughtful, considerate, having a very strong emotional bond with somebody where you feel they love you from a much deeper place and you love them. And you, it's really also related to trust and honesty because and confiding. Um, you share from the heart and you develop an emotional trust and intimacy based on true and deep feelings which you're sharing instead of hiding so that's emotional connection a lot of relationships do, and this time on earth at this day and age do not have a very strong emotional connection the emotional connection doesn't develop from time spent with people or how many years or months you've been together it doesn't depend on physical um sex or attraction or, or physicality and um, good looks or whatever um, that, that everything has its part I'm not putting one over the other but I have to do say I think the spiritual connection and the mental and emotional connection is for me it's become far more important and I think as we have relationships that that may have been bit, like the more we heal and grow um, the less the more relationships we have that didn't work out eventually we want a relationship that sort of does work out and has stuff that we didn't have in our previous relationships and um, so every relate every experience no matter what it is in life teaches it brings us to a new desire a new heartfelt burning or heartfelt true authentic desire within us and um, even if it's like we're studying something in college we don't like it we know we want to do this instead it's the same with relationships and experiences is, is like rich and important teacher for us so so ask yourself in your past relationships, have you had a physical, strong physical connection? Was the relationship based on a physical connection? Did you have emotional connection? Spiritual connection, that's about the true deeper meaning of life. Um, passion, purpose, inspire, inspiration, calling, uh, just like the vigorous, powerful, exciting energy of propulsion forward for your true heartfelt passion and meaning and calling in life <laughs> true deep stuff spiritual inspiration what you want to create who you want to be in life what's the most important things for you in life and the deepest levels for you virtues unconditional love togetherness one human family your third your, th your third eye um your crown your crown especially how, how spiritually orientated you are and the spiritual is like one end and the physical about like you know house money things people family security shelter home um children um physical body um sexual energy and these are all physical um, they're all good and have their part you want all chakras working together by the way in alignment and harmony and balance 
So I'm not putting down any chakra in the slightest bit. All, I'm putting every chakra up. They're beautiful. They're all an element and a dynamic and a dimension of life. Um, a beautiful crystal here. It's like a present. I like this so much. Thank you, Sean and Lynn. Uh, beautiful clear quartz crystal, I think. Yeah. So you can gain more awareness now in this video by asking yourself, like, what type of relationship, what's most important to you now? What are your priorities? Do you want to rush into a relationship based on physical attraction? Or are you going more for the spiritual connection, the emotional attraction and connection? Um, and the mental connection where you have you can you can share ideas share good things have good conversations you like the same things you share hobbies and interests and um, you share also spiritually a sense of direction of purpose for helping humanity and uplifting and helping and healing yourself spiritual inner growth and healing and, and um, self-love self-nurture honesty virtuous living um elevated high vibrational um ethical and moralistic, loving living, treating people fairly, kindly, goodly, and wanting and aspiring the highest things for yourself and others. This is all related to your heart and to the spiritual connection, okay? So, emotional connection has a lot to do with intimacy, trust, and other things I mentioned earlier. So, for me, I think obviously, for sure, the basis for a long-term soulmate, like deeply, and it can be also very deeply romantic and physical relationship too, is the mental connection, the emotional, mental, emotional, spiritual connection. But the physical connection can also slot into that. But I feel most people go for this physical um, as the primary attraction and connection. So obviously it doesn't work out because you're lacking these, at least one or two of these. Like in one of my, my in one of my, in like I won't talk about myself probably really, but yeah, I did have like a very strong emotional connection one time with a girl, um, and pretty decent physical, but the spiritual one was totally lacking. That's where we're on totally different paths, and um, the mental one was lacking too, partially because we're on different paths and different interests and different direction in life. So it didn't work out, and I felt that and I knew it, and I just knew it deep down, and that, that contract just ended, and it served me so well, and it served her so well. But now I realize, like, why did it not? Uh, why didn't? Why didn't it last? And how can I pinpoint using these four descriptive um, perspectives? What exactly was there, and what exactly wasn't there? So this is awareness and wisdom. And when you know what's there and not there, and you know the reasons behind things, that's when you become clearer. You know, I I once used to call myself a clarity coach, an empowerment coach, or a clarity coach, and I still do happily. But I generally just call myself either a holistic spiritual life coach or a spiritual life coach. But it's all about clarity, clarifying and clarif clarifying and bringing clarity mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually. And that's what I work with and I love to do spiritual, like holistic life coaching with anyone who's interested. Have a look below. But just getting up further, is there anything else about this video that I really feel I'd like to share to help you in your path and your journey towards greater and happier, more fulfilling, prosperous, satisfying, deeper connective romance, love, affection, intimacy, care and bonding? Is there anything else?